coronavirus pandemic is a devastating global health crisis that has killed nearly tens of thousands of people infected over 2 million individuals and impacted lives of billions around the world but the crisis is no more limited to health it has pushed the major economies to the brink shattered businesses and left millions jobless today we touch upon topics like health the state of the economy and the world after the coronavirus with our guest vishal gondal he is an entrepreneur an investor and a fitness geek but not necessarily in that order vishal uh, let me open this discussion by asking you how people can remain physically fit and active in these difficult times we don't have access to gyms we can't go out for walking running or swimming and not everyone can follow a nutritious diet so uh, first of all thanks a lot for inviting me on this live show i am excited to talk to all the people around uh, to start with i think we all talk about lockdown as this thing jo you know everybody is being confined and there is a lot of restriction but the reality is in my opinion a lockdown is actually a great opportunity for people to reset themselves think about when you send a car to a garage or when the train is in maintenance for a month uh, it is in the shed what do you do it during that time is what is going to determine your future so i think uh, people need to not think of the lockdown as a bad thing which is happening it's actually a good thing the real reason for the lockdown is so that we do not put unnecessary strain on the medical system and give time for people who are infected and the infrastructure to cope up so actually being in lockdown is not Uh, a bad thing per se of course there are people who are facing challenges around foods and basics and i'm sure the governments and other organizations are doing their best efforts but coming to the lockdown i think people have to realize that actually physically you are not locked down it's your mind which is locked down and mental health is what is the most important to focus on during this time in fact if you ask me over physical health and mental health what is more important during this time frame especially i would say it is mental health because like i said you can imagine yourself to be locked up or you can close your eyes and your imagination can go wild and you can dream big and do big things uh, be part of the zoom conversation there are so many free online courses right now harvard is doing a course sanford is doing a course so you can use this as an opportunity to level up yourself and go to the next level so i would say more than physical it's about mental well being and of course we will talk a little bit about how people can take care of their mental well being but my my mantra over here is it's mind over body so mind is what you need to mind right now true so while while i uh, totally uh, agree with you that mind is uh, probably the driving force behind the physical body itself but uh, there there needs to be a balance in both right so how do you how do you suggest uh, people uh, attaining that sort of equilibrium uh amid their houses confined within spaces so you know the first and the foremost thing if you want to take up something like exercise or fitness is you need to be mentally prepared and make a decision that i want to do it once you have done that then nothing in this world can stop you i think a lot of people make half hearted attempts और दे वॉन्ट शॉर्टकट कि मैं दस दिन एक्सरसाइज करूंगा और मेरा दो किलो वजन कम हो जाएगा इट डजेंट हैपन दैट वे यू नो पीपल है दिस टेक्स इयर्स एंड मंथ्स सो ए द फर्स्ट स्टेप इज द फैक्ट दैट येस आई वॉन्ट टू गेट इन शेप द सेकेंड स्टेप इज द रिसोर्सेस द गुड न्यूज टूडे इज आप YouTube पे जाओ Facebook पे जाओ Instagram पे जाओ देर आर सो मेनी वर्कआउट लाइव क्लासेस गोइंग ऑन on the goki app we are offering from 7 in the morning to 10 in the night every 30 minute live exercise 
So you could choose yoga, you could choose Zumba, you could to choose dance. We even have exercise with household chores. So if you are doing a lot of work, 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 you are doing a lot of work. so if you have the will as little as 20 to 30 minutes a day can be invested in doing a workout workout does not mean you have to be in gym and do weight lifting that is not workout that's one form of workout but for average people like you and me being at home and even doing mopping or even using water bottle pani na bhar lo bottle mein do do kilo ki bottle ho jaye 1.5 kilo ki aur usko uthao that itself becomes a workout so i think there are enough resources available today for people to take up workout however the best my favorite workouts if if you really have to ask me what to do right now is people can very very easily do what i call tabata tabata is just a 4 minute or a 8 minute workout tabata bhi bahut sare youtube videos available hai what you do in tabata is आप 30 मिनट्स के लिए एक एक्सरसाइज करो फिर 10 से 20 सेकंड के लिए गिव योर सेल्फ रेस्ट देन अगेन यू डू 30 सेकंड्स एंड देन यू गिव योर सेल्फ रेस्ट इन दिस वे व्हाट यू डू इज इट्स कॉल्ड हिट हाई इंटरवल इंटेंसिटी ट्रेनिंग वेयर थोड़े देर के लिए आपका हार्ट रेट बढ़ जाएगा फिर आपका कम हो जाएगा फिर बढ़ जाएगा फिर कम हो जाएगा दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इफेक्टिव वेज ऑफ एक्सरसाइज एंड लाइक आई सेड यू कैन डू इट इज एज लिटल एज 4 टू 8 मिनट्स Right. So yeah, I mean these kind of exercises do help you sort of uh, have a better metabolism rate overall. And if I could ask you to expand a little on Goki also, I mean Goki as a preventive healthcare platform, it's it's providing a lot of services, and I think most of them are free as of now as for for people. Um, could you just expand on the kind of services people can avail through Goki? See, the problem right now is that the healthcare system, Mudir, is broken. what we are seeing worldwide is the collapse of the healthcare system and the reason it is broken is because it was not a healthcare system it is largely a sick care system system iske liye bana hai aap bimar ho aapko ek goli denge you know you have a pain you get a pain killer or and you come back and people continue the same old habits i think that is the fundamental problem agar aapko diabetes hai to aapko finally अपनी शुगर इनटेक कार्बोहाइड्रेट इनटेक कम करना पड़ेगा अगर आप सिर्फ गोली खा के जियोगे तो डायबिटीज ठीक नहीं होगी सिमिलरली इफ यू लुक एट कोरोना वायरस एवरीबडी इज टॉकिंग अबाउट इम्यूनिटी योर इम्यून सिस्टम अब ये इम्यून सिस्टम क्या है बेसिकली आवर बॉडी हैज ऑल द मीन्स मीन्स नेसेसरी टू फाइट एनी इलनेस टू फाइट एनी वायरस और बैक्टीरिया एंड द पीपल हु डू दैट इज आवर इम्यून सिस्टम Right. however by leaving a leading a unhealthy lifestyle we are compromising the immune system so problem actually ye hai ki sabke immune system compromised hai and ye compromise badalne ke liye aapko teen cheeze karni padengi char cheeze actually focus on sleep sleep actually is the foundation of good health sure. second focus on nutrition physical activity and mental activity so these are the four things which you have to do and in my case jab main school mein tha i was a national volleyball player very fit and athletic then i started a gaming company which became india's biggest gaming company India, yeah. and par wo gaming company banane ke chakkar mein i was 130 kilo i was almost very very unhealthy then i tried to join a gym i got diet plan le liya ye le liya wo le liya sab kuch kar liya but kuch farak nahi pada What worked for me was कि there was a coach उसने मुझे बोला कि तुम मुझे रोज WhatsApp करो तुम क्या खा रहे हो क्या पी रहे हो मैं तुमको एक बताऊंगा क्या करना है सो दो हजार ग्यारह से आई स्टार्टेड दिस प्रोसेस एंड नाउ आई एम प्राउड टू से आई एक्चुअली डन ऑलमोस्ट फिफ्टीन हाफ मैराथॉन्स आई डन अल्ट्रा मैराथॉन्स आई एंड गॉन्ट टू ट्रेकिंग टू एवरेस्ट बेस कैम्प सो बेसिकली आई वॉज एबल टू अडोप्ट टू अबिट चेंज नॉट बाई जस्ट माई सेल्फ बट बाई वर्किंग विद समी एल्स and that was the idea behind goki to jab maine goki chalu kiya 2014 mein we said that what if we take a wearable tracker jahan se data aa raha hai aur ye data hum kisi coach ko bheje jo aapko bataye ki kya karo so that was the idea behind goki of course today 
वी हैव डेवलप्ड इन टू अ मच बिगर इको सिस्टम गोकी के पास वेरेबल्स है कोचेज है डॉक्टर्स है लाइव वीडियो है एज यू नो अक्षय कुमार इज आर ब्रांड एम्बेसिडर एंड यू नो ही इज द मेगा स्टार द गुरु ऑफ है गुड हेल्थ सो वी आर राइट नाउ वर्किंग विद मिलियंस ऑफ यूजर्स मेकिंग दैम हेल्थी Uh, recently we also partnered with fit india and in fact fit india ke sath hum every day classes kar rahe hain live classes to make people healthy in fact cbsc students are logging every day on to goki at 9:30 am to get live exercise so i think the future is really about you not going to where exercise is exercise is going to come you yeah. what we want you to be is motivated yeah right and uh, i believe you're also offering uh, tele consultation on goki you have free doctors as of now absolutely so there is tele consultation there is uh, coaching consultation we also have the goki store where people can buy healthy products so agar aapko vitamin c chahiye healthy snacks chahiye healthy oils chahiye masks chahiye thermometers chahiye. so what we have done is we've kind of created an entire preventive healthcare ecosystem yeah and ye sare ki sari cheeze integrated hai hamare system mein Yeah, right. So, uh, Vishal, my idea is uh, we we are getting some questions as well on Facebook. So, uh, in between our questions, I'll take a few from yes, Facebook. Yes, please, please. So, uh, Rahul is asking, uh, by when do you think this lockdown will end? <laughs> so, there is a physical lockdown and there is a mental lockdown. I would say physical lockdown already, as you know, Goa is a green state in India. so already there have been certain relaxations and i would say dheere dheere karke as the cases come down governments will start opening up so i would say uh, it can take anything from the next one week to a few more weeks and in places like mumbai which is the hot spot it may take a little more longer but i would say that uh, the lockdown will be over but the way of life after this is not going to be the same i think people will have to change their way of living drastically it is no longer going to be kare i'll take a flight and go to delhi or i will just uh, hop into a train and travel so i think there will be some restrictions largely to do around travel and social distancing uh vishal when we talk about uh, physical health and mental health we're also looking at a time when uh, all of us spend more time with our electronic devices working and learning is happening on laptops through the day and then the smartphone stays with us till we sleep how do you suggest one manages or maintains a healthy screen time so right now unfortunately the screen is our window to the world to aise to hum log ko matlab is time you cannot avoid screen time but you can certainly decide the quality of screen time and when i say quality of screen screen time just like junk food there is junk content to agar aap bahut junk food khaoge to wo aapke body ke liye acha nahi hai hum sabko pata hai usi tarah if you consume junk content and what is junk content too much of news you know too much of news is not normally bad news right i mean very rarely you would see good news uh, you know while news bites is doing a good job by getting you such sessions most other news channels are trying to show you a lot of negativity so i would say that please be away from negativity negative news is is not good for your mental health we already know things are bad okay but aapko negative news nahi consume aur jitna kam ho sake consume karni chahiye second thing uh, content which is like tiktok again tiktok is a snacky content you can have snacks for 1 minute 2 minute 5 minute 10 minutes but agar aap ghanto tiktok tak lage rahoge that is certainly not good similarly uh, i would say please refrain from forwarding content i think hamara brain mein ek aadat hai humko koi bhi cheez mile aapko koi bhi aap usko pehle forward kar dete ho i would say that for this time you should decide ki aaj ek din main koi bhi cheez forward nahi karunga aap aane do you should stop forwarding because a lot of these uh, junk content and viral content rely on people like you forwarding these things ahead agar aap bologe main ek din forward nahi karunga similarly the content will not spread so i would say avoid this but what you should do like i was telling you right now there is you know the top artists are doing live concerts music is the best healer so if you have time 
listen to music or listen to these live shows of all the top artists who are on you know you would money can't buy these things aaj yeah. every artist is doing a live show secondly if you have time ted and tedx in fact every every weekend tedx is having sessions with some amazing thinkers go attend these sessions these are free normally you have to pay thousands and lakhs of rupees to right. get access to it right now these are all for free similarly universities are offering courses for free so i'm just saying that actually agar aap dekha jaye to lakho karodo rupaye ke worth knowledge is available for free while you are looking at those tiktoks and instagram videos you are missing out on the invaluable amount of knowledge and experience which you can learn and then finally i would say it's also a good time to do some social good so there are so many you can volunteer for us uh, for there are so many social causes which need support agar aapko aapko tweet karna hi hai ya post karna hi hai to itni sari organizations hai aap kisi ke paas bhi jaiye bolo main volunteer karne ko taiyar hu they will give you some work so i'm just saying that there is a million ways to make your time productive and of course i would say night before you sleep 30 minutes before you sleep it's best to stop using technology and that gives your brain cues that you want to sleep and uh, one advice which i have given to everybody and i want to give here too that meditation is very important but not everybody can meditate right but there is a hack to do meditation there is a hack and hack kya hai there is this kind of music called binaural beats binaural beats kya hoti hai ye music frequency alag alag frequency to aapke headphone mein right mein alag frequency aayegi aur left mein alag frequency aayegi and these music tones are made for different moods so you can have for sleep for uplifting your mood for removing negativity so there are a lot of different moods you can stimulate and these have been scientifically proven so go to your favorite youtube or any music app and binaural beats ko search karo aur zyada se zyada 15 ya 20 minute tak aap headphone lagao aur ye binaural beats suno sone se pehle and then you will thank me because you will get such a good sleep right yeah in fact spotify has a great binaural beats playlist i would surely recommend that yeah. absolutely right binaural beats is a hack matlab logo ko pata nahi meditation and binaural beat effect is the same more or less i think the, the kind of routine that you've laid out for review it's really uh, nuanced in a way that it lets you you know use maximize your day uh, while not straining your body and mind and still using your time constructively and learning something new each day even a new experience is again here uh i'll i'll quickly shift to another topic that is of concern right now that's economy so over the past few weeks uh, we've seen some really treacherous financial shifts as market have sort of crashed like a deflating balloon if i could say that the imf has revised its global gdp estimate to 3% something that that we've not seen since the great depression of the 1930s all major economies are expected to contract by a significant number what do you what advice do you have for investors as well as entrepreneurs well in all this gloom yesterday facebook paid its biggest investment in india at the highest valuation right so i think that one piece of information should be good enough for people to know that whatever happens to the rest of the world and china india is in a very very good situation uh i think india has the most to benefit from the post covid world because india has largely been a knowledge economy and as you know that knowledge economy will not have as much impact the impact is going to be more on the manufacturing side and again on the manufacturing side india has nothing but to gain because a lot of people are going to look at alternatives from china and yeah. india will definitely offer a big alternative of course in the short to medium term there is going to be problem for all businesses so the only thing which i tell people is ki aap ye mat socho ki ye sirf aapko ho raha hai this is a problem which is pinching everybody in the world together so for you becoming you know sad and dukhi is not going to help because it is not in your control it is not a scenario where your company or you were not doing well because of it something happened 
there are people who were performing the best and their companies were doing the best and override their business demand is gone so first of all people should stop blaming themselves for this secondly we should trust that all the global giants all the global economies are smart and they know how to bring back the economies there is already a lot of discussion going on uh, on how trade is going to resume so i think the bolte na ki bachane wale ke haath marne wale se zyada bade hote hai right so clearly this time the world is united and it's not like think about it right saudi arabia biggest producer of oil is today selling oil for negative so saudi arabia will, will want to make sure the world starts consuming oil again yeah. so everybody is incentivized to bring the economy back on track of course it may take a little more time so all i would say is people should be patient and believe in the system i think the system is going to work of course it may take a little longer and uh, i think in india we can the only thing i can see in india is benefit there could be certain industries who may get a little more hampered than others but people are smart companies are smart you know mahindra is right now making ventilators when they can make automobiles so people are smart and they will evolve when they will adopt and how do you see covid 19 impacting the startup scene so clearly startups uh, in the temporary phase startups jinke paas cash nahi hai or who are having lower runway should make sure that they are able to increase their runway or increase the cash they have in their company because if you die then nobody can save you right aapko vaccine tabhi mil sakta hai agar aap zinda raho so the idea yahi hai ki jab tak vaccine nahi hai you have to be alive and how do you be alive uh, if you are a human it's about maximizing on the resources you have and minimizing on anything which is a waste similarly it's the best time for startups to remove excess fat from their system uh, this is a time to get your team together and tell them the scenario agar aapke paas 50 ya 100 employees hai aap unko bulao unko bolo i mean of course virtually that listen hamare paas itna cash hai agar hum sab ki salary agar de to 6 mahine ka cash hai ya 3 mahine ka cash hai अगर हम लोग सब मिलके 25 परसेंट या 30 परसेंट सैलरी कट कर दे तो ये छह महीने से हमारा नौ महीने हो जाए विच मीन्स ऑल ऑफ अस विल हैव मोर अपॉर्चुनिटी टू मे बी गेट इट टुगेदर और अगर तीन महीने बाद बिजनेस ठीक हो गया देन इट्स फाइन सो द आइडिया हियर इज आई एम सींग दैट पीपल थिंक कि यहाँ सब लोग सेल्फिश कोई नहीं है इनफैक्ट हमारे कंपनी में पीपल सामने से आके लोगों ने बोला है कि आई एम बिलिंग टू टेक अ सैलरी कट बिकॉज आई डोंट वॉन्ट एनी अदर पर्सन टू बी इम्पैक्टेड so the the call you have to take is that do you lay off people or do you cut resources or do you do a combination so all these are difficult questions and they are difficult answers but if you are a startup ceo ye aapko abhi karna hai wo ye aapke jab oxygen khatam ho jayega uske baad mein karke fayda nahi hai so right now you have limited oxygen so you need to increase your oxygen and reduce your oxygen and increase your oxygen retention capability that is what is going to make you live longer with respect to india i mean how do you see uh, the government's approach is it is it doing enough to bail out entrepreneurs in the country well the government has not come back with any concrete uh, economic steps so far i think the only thing which they did was on the banking loans and stuff like that so clearly uh, we are all looking forward to what the government is going to do uh, so of course we have seen what has happened in us and uk and Uh, Canada and all these other economies. However, having said that, those economies are very rich, and there's a lot of cash in those economies. So India is comparatively a much poorer economy. So we will see what can be done, and uh, we are all hopeful that the the Prime Minister and all our government officials will come back with something uh, because they also are interested, right? If the economy is not going well, then what will happen to the country? So it is in everybody's interest. So the good thing is. that it is not that they are going to do it to favor one segment or one sector or one company whatever they will do they will have to do it to make sure that everybody gets the benefit right uh, uh for for a granular look if i may if if i may uh, indulge in that so telecom insurance and edtech or education are fairly doing okay while sectors like travel hospitality retail and manufacturing are badly hit how do you see these uh, industries cope up in the present covid era and in the next 6 months maybe 
See, clearly, right, in the present era, there are certain industries which may perform. And that's, again, temporary, right? I mean, it's not like uh, these are permanent things. Travel and tourism may take a slightly bigger hit because, you know, overall travel itself will be curtailed. But having said that, uh, the pace at which these things come back is also very fast. We saw 9-11 ke baad kya hua tha. You know, that had also had a similar impact on travel and tourism and stuff like that. Similarly, uh, I think, uh, you know, we humans are very resilient. And I think the minute there is a sign of a vaccine or we figure out what is the true mortality. For example, I personally believe, again, I have no science to back it. Currently, we are saying 4% or 5% mortality hai COVID. Ka. But that is based on what is tested. I assume that at least 10 times ko test nahi kiya hua hai. Or agar wo theory sahi hai, to actually uska mortality rate is not 3%, but it's 0.3%. Now, if it is 0.3%, it is not as, it is as bad as any other disease in the country. So I would say that, you know, once more data comes in, once more statistics comes in, uh, and once the governments realize that, listen, you know, uh, they cannot, like they said, the cure cannot be more dangerous than the disease. Right now, what is happening is while lockdown was a good temporary, it was a good break. Achhi apne, you know, you lockdown kar diya. But ab lockdown nahi kar sakte because you will kill the people by the lockdown itself. So I would say that uh, the lockdown will be relaxed. And, you know, tourism is the biggest sector for so many countries. Italy, so much economy comes from tourism. Goa which is a green zone, you know, yeah, why would people not want to go back to Goa? So the question really is, I believe that there is going to be a lot of emphasis on health as your passport. So already I had a chat with Rajan Anandan who talked about how there is an idea behind creating this health passport. So if you applied for a visa, they used to say apne bank information though we apna income tax return though show that you have property everybody had to prove that they had wealth so that they can travel i think that is going to move from saying that people will have to prove that they have health people will want to check your uh, blood sugar levels your diabetes level your cholesterol levels and i believe in the future your health will be your bigger passport to do what you are going to do and no longer will be you could be a multi-billionaire but if your health is not good you will be stuck somewhere and you could be a very poor person but just because you have good health you could be roaming in the streets of uh, Rome. Uh, isi mein, uh, if, if I may ask uh, ride sharing companies ka, what, what is the prospect you're seeing in India especially? Uh, there's many Ambia, hai, there's, there's big names like Uber and Ola uh, you think there will be concern rahega, both with the drivers as well as uh, the consumers? How safe is it? How safe is it? Temporary to ye sab hoga, right? Temporary all these things will happen. But people are going to become smarter. Like restaurants are telling you ki iska temperature kya tha. You know, so I'm just saying that there will be new tools and technologies to give you security. Correct? Abhi finally, you know, if you infect, how can you be infected? Currently, the way is that how can you remain secure in terms of these things? And I'm sure all these businesses right now are thinking of how they can make secure. Like in China, what they did was they put one plastic sheet in the car and in the back. So the driver is on this side, you are on this side. Okay? So you know, it's almost like you are, uh, you know, separated. So that's what I say. So there are a lot of things which can be done and a lot of this will be learning. But, you know, it's not, not everybody can take. In fact, it's easier, better to take Ola and Uber than go in a crowded train or bus. Agar aapko ye do choice hai, what would you choose? Would you choose to be in a bus with 100 people sitting close to each other? Or would you choose to be maybe in a Ola or an Uber with two people, uh, you know, at a little bit of a distance? So... Time will say, I don't see, like I said, people will evolve and people will learn. Uh, looking at uh, a shift in the new world over world, uh, world order post COVID era and globalization. What do you have to do with these two aspects? First of all, post COVID era, we are still in the COVID only. Ah, just anticipating. 
so i would like i said right health is going to be your bigger uh, ocean to define who you are bolte na ki pehle sab ka wealth gina jata tha wealth would define whether you are traveling business or economy class wealth would define how would you do now it may actually not be wealth but health or a combination of health and wealth i think that is going to be more important companies are going to start looking more closely at the health of their employees because one employee can shut down the entire plant you know which is not much more this thing and i think we have now realized that humne jo billions and trillions weapons mein kharcha kar diye ye khareed liya matlab tanks khareed liye nuclear capability bana di kya hua fayda one virus which is invisible has made all those trillions of dollars of investment zero so i think the world needs to wake up and invest in health and i would say in the post covid world the world will also take climate change more seriously because climate jaise virus ka uh, you you laugh at this if i tell you 2015 i was there in vancouver when bill gates gave that talk on the virus and we all laughed at it we were in the audience i'm like yaar ye bill gates kya bol raha hai itna ha itna paisa hai to ye sab bolega right nobody took it seriously similarly we have so many scientists telling us that you know the the ice caps are melting you know greenhouse effect ho raha hai oceans are rising so i think people will now take it seriously because we don't want to again wait sunday ki pata chale ki bhaiya samundar ek feet upar bad gaya sab jagah pe and everywhere there is water right it can really happen so i would say that post covid era there will be a bigger focus on uh, on on stuff like climate change uh and thirdly i would say that there will be a big question mark around organizations like who uh, who are supposed to be doing this for the world right if they would have done their job well or you know told give enough warnings to people uh things may have been different so we have very good warning system for missiles us ke paas pata chala hai ki missile aa rahi hai india ne wo missile defense system laga ke rakha hua hai but एक छोटी से वायरस आ गई जिसके लिए हम लोग को लगा था कोई बताएगा किसी ने बताया नहीं सो आई वुड से दैट पीपल विल टेक दीज थिंग्स अ लॉट मोर सीरियसली एंड एक्चुअली इट्स अनफॉर्चुनेट बट आई एम हैप्पी दैट फाइनली हेल्थ विल बी द मेन एजेंडा पॉइंट फॉर विनिंग इलेक्शंस डू यू आल्सो सी राइज ऑफ एंटी चाइना इमोशंस सेंटिमेंट्स वंस थिंग्स सो सॉर्ट काइंड ऑफ प्लैटो डाउन uh in us so, in europe in the india the problem is that it is not anti china it is anti chinese government because they have been very opaque they have not been transparent at all and today we are all living in democracies where we demand transparencies right i mean yeah. india mein har ek cheez ke liye rti hai you know har ek cheez ke liye rti ho jata hai ho jata hai i mean everywhere else right people want to know ye hua kya and similarly today we are all suffering बिलियंस ऑफ डॉलर्स ऑफ बिजनेस लाखों की लाइफ चली गई हैं और हमको तक ये नहीं पता कि ये हुआ क्यों सो आई थिंक चाइना हैज टू गिव सम सीरियस आंसर्स टू द वर्ल्ड एंड आई एम श्योर द वर्ल्ड लीडर्स आउट देयर विल बी डिमांडिंग दिस फ्रॉम चाइना राइट आई विल आई विल टेक माय लास्ट क्वेश्चन एंड देन आई विल फिनिश ऑफ द सेशन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू इंडिया व्हाट काइंड ऑफ सर्ट ऑफ स्टेप्स आर यू लुकिंग एट इन ईजिंग द लॉकडाउन and the year ahead the the next 6 months there is also um an understanding of the second phase where the virus could return in a maybe a lesser uh form or lesser strength uh, what kind of things are you um uh, seeing in in india especially see it completely depends on the city you are see india is so big india is like europe plus you know it chote chote countries me ke pura india hai right ab wo soch lo so the point is there is no one solution which is going to work for india the way they lockdown will have to open in bombay and delhi is very different because this is very dense population depending so much on public transportation delhi has metro bombay has our local trains it's very different than goa jo pura state khula hua hai you know wahan density itni zyada nahi hai log dur dur rehte hain so again like i said there is no one formula for all of these things india will have to rely on thousands of formulas on how each city and each state will be open there are models uh, bhilwara for example was the first place which contained the virus and 
how they are opening up and everybody is talking about bhilwara but bhilwara model cannot be adopted in a major metro city bhilwara is good for a city like bhilwara for example uh, but when they talk of containment they are talking about uh, so many zones in india right i mean there have been so many success stories of how they have been able to contain so i would say that uh, iska koi easy answer nahi hai and i really have great respect for the tough decisions all our leaders have to take you know uh, every chief minister every uh, you know every health secretary uh, every you know including our prime minister i mean it was a very tough decision ki jo aapke paas 500 cases the aapne desh ko lockdown kar diya aaj logo ko pata chal raha hai lockdown nahi kiya hota to socho kya ho jata after lockdown we are having a 20000 cases when people could not roam around freely imagine if these 20000 people were roaming in this country this 20000 would not be 20000 but 20 crores that would have been the scale of this pandemic in the country and i would say that i can only thank uh, the foresight of our leaders to take this into consideration and at 20000 believe me we are at a very good position maybe the 20000 will become 40000 but it could have been into crores ye 40 crore ho sakta tha hum log wahan nahi hai so i think we should be thankful for that right i think uh, i'll uh, close it there it's been uh, a wonderful discussion with you you've been very candid and you've been very insightful and uh, hopefully we could uh, do this uh, in the coming days again thank you thank you for yeah. speaking with newsbites take care bye thank you so much